happy Monday. I'm in my shirt again because I just had an interview for Consult Your Community. They are a student group who offer free consultancy work to local businesses in Raleigh. And it was my online interview this morning and I think it went well. Um, they were really nice, like I've met one of the interviewers before, not in person, but online, and they asked me, um, tell us about a time when you like joined a team or took a project and went above and beyond to make it better. Um, tell us about, oh, if you were building a team, what roles would you build around you and what role do you think you would play? Which is quite an interesting question. I hadn't really planned that, but I had looked at Belbin's team roles before, so I was a little bit prepared. Um, there was tell us about a time when you've adapted your leadership to different styles of people. Um, so yeah, they were all like interesting questions. I think most of them went well. I think a couple of them I kind of rambled for a little bit while I was trying to find what I was saying. But for the most part, I'm reasonably happy with how it went. Um, we'll find out, I think later this, oh no, probably at the start of next week if I got in. So I'll let you know. This has no real relevance to my week. I just think it's funny that I can check my outfits from someone else's point of view because all of the lectures get recorded. Mmm, this donut is very cake-like. Good morning, here's a bit of a check-in for you. Tuesday evening I went to a fraternity meeting and it was like the brothers meeting, so the meetings that you'll have to go to when you're initiated. And it was so much fun that like, it's just so weird. <laughs> they, they have a weekly like hot dog, which is you nominate someone who's done something embarrassing and then you vote on all of the nominations and then they have to go up to the front and sing the hot dog song. Um, and it's just kind of like updating you on what's going on over the week, but it was really good, good fun. And I met a couple more pledges there as well. Yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I had another leadership session and it was on social identity. Um, and I feel like I'm becoming better friends with the people that I normally sit with on my table. And then today it's a lovely sunny day. I'll see if I can show you the blue sky outside, not really, oh there it is. So um, I'm like writing essays, writing papers because I have three due next week um, and trying to get them all done before, before I stop traveling next weekend. So it's going well, the sun's shining, feeling good. The school spirit does not quit here, this is in the dining hall. And then Friday I helped out at a conversation club I'm talking quietly because I'm in the hall, but um, I'm just off to dinner with Victoria and I'm so glad that I joined my fraternity because I went out to interview two more pledges at two o'clock and then I was with them until about four and then at four o'clock I went to interview my big who like looks after me and I was just sat talking with her until literally 6.30, so like two and a half hours with her. And um, like we've got plans, me and the other pledges, to maybe tailgate next week, like organize some events. And without them, like literally, obviously I have friends, but maybe like three or four friends. But that's just like an instant community where you have people to do things with and you get to know so many people. So if anyone's studying abroad ever, definitely join a fraternity. Um, or like especially a service fraternity because there's just so much going on and so many people to speak to. Today's been such a good day. The weather's like a lot cooler now. It's when I went outside this morning at like nine, it was 14 degrees Celsius. So it's like proper Scottish temperatures. And now it's back up to about 20, but I've got a jumper on. Let's give it up for Fountain Dining Hall, my favorite. <laughs>
It was such a good game and it was really exciting. It went to double overtime before we won and everyone ran onto the pitch. Two people got arrested that were the first people to run on the pitch and I got a photo with the mascot. Here is everyone standing on the pitch. It was incredible. This is the bell tower on campus. Normally there's white lights lighting it up, but when something big happens, it turns red and it turned red for this game. <laughs> And then we have another week of updates. The football game was genuinely incredible. That's been the highlight of the year so far because I was so into it. I understand the rules now. And then to go to double overtime and then beat a team that we thought we had very little chance of winning and then running onto the field, that never happens. It was incredible. Also, updates from Sunday, I had another fraternity meeting and we were doing um, pledge exec elections. So I'm now the pledge class president for my pledge group. Um, so I just basically help to make sure everyone's on track to like make our conditions and uh, be a link between the pledges and the actual brothers. Spoilers for week 10. Oh, week 10 is going to be an exciting week. So basically I'm feeling the stress with workload. I have so much due in over the next four days. This is my plan for the next four days. And then Thursday night I'm traveling and I'll be away for five days. So Thursday is going to be like not Thursday, week 10 is going to be stressful, stressful, busy, busy four days. And then nature retreat, travel, cool nature videos. So get excited. See you then.